it's just one way to do it. So once we're in Power Editor, hit Page Posts. There's a page that comes up. We want to create a post. URL goes here. The text, so this all would be the text, okay? So all you want to do is you take the actual URL that you want them to click through to and put it there, okay? Typically, you're going to want to hit learn more. That's been shown to be the most responsive. Headline, this can be whatever the fuck we want it to say. So 12-week um, program in Fairfax. I'll give you most of this information. I just want you to know where, where to set it up and how to do it. Um, action, you, could, you, could write any, you could really write anything here. You're supposed to put a link, Action Fitness Inc. if you want to. Okay, And then the description is going to be what you see at the bottom here. Apply for like what's underneath the headline. So let's say... Okay, underneath five beginners workout or whatever. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So if you're, in the ads man if you're in the ads manager, this is exactly what it's like, but it's a, l it's a little more user-friendly in the ads manager. Yeah. Um, sub headline goes here and you can put up any picture you want. Um, unlike the ads manager, they don't have, they don't store your images, so you always have to upload a new image. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so create post. And here we go, you can preview it. So obviously not very pretty because we didn't put the time into it, but you get the idea, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, next, if we want to create a campaign, so now this is what's called a dark post. A dark post means that it's it's on your Facebook page, so right? So if I click on this, in the top left you see Action Fitness, okay? But it didn't actually go to my page. So if you're... It's not published though, right? Exactly, yes. Yeah. Well, it's, it's published, or I'm sorry, it's, it's... How do I say this? I guess, I guess unpublished would be the right word. Basically, it's not going to be published to the public, but it's, we could use it as an ad, okay? So I click Create App, and I can either piggyback an old campaign or create a brand new one. Test campaign. And we'll do clicks or conversions, most often than not. If we go conversions, which I like to do, um, if I'm testing two images, I would have selected two. Uh, image test one. Okay, this is where it gets funky. So, uh, scroll down. This this would look better if it was the if we had set it up right. What you want? All we want to do since we're doing conversions, if you look at the bottom here, want to hit choose conversion tracking pixel. Use existing. Look at the one that's active. Oh. This one. Check. Select. So do you know the different levels? So there's campaign, then ad set, then ad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the ad level. Okay. Okay. We go to ad sets. Fill in the blanks. So look for conversion pixel. It'll say on the right versus the new pixel, which is a whole different concept. We're not going to talk about that. Okay. Okay. Then... Set the daily. How much, how much do you usually put for daily budget? How many ads do you run in general? Mm, just depends. Uh, cash flow is a little tight right now, so I'm not spending too much. Uh, we're going to be having fun with our clients' accounts for the time being. Um, so usually five to ten bucks per ad set. Some days I'll spend fifty dollars a day. Some days I'll spend ten bucks. Okay. Okay. All right. After here, leave this. Obviously in Fairfax, we want to take it 10 miles right now, and I'm going to be marketing, depending on the campaign, you typically I go 40 to 60, once again this might change a little bit, and woman, and now here, this is really important, choose your placements, take away Instagram, audience network, and right column. And we leave everything else. 
When that is ready, we hit Review Changes, Continue, that is done okay now we go to our ads manager all right click here go back to the, your account and we're gonna see as you've probably seen before just from running into ads manager uh, the campaign is pending review. But if you click on it, you click through, you can see the post right here and a preview once it loads. Maybe not. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to delete this, but and if yeah. you need, you need to make adjustments in the ad set level. So ad set level is where we adjust all these things. That was the second second thing we went to. That's a daily budget, the pixel you're using, the schedule, uh, custom audiences if we use any, um, location, and then placement. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna delete this. Any questions so far? Uh, no. I mean, I'll probably have to rewatch this, you know, just to get it down, but. Uh... But yeah, I mean, it seems pretty straightforward so far. Okay, cool. Um, and let's keep it simple for now. I'll, I'll pretty much give you most of the information you need, like the link, the images that, that I want to test, the copy I want you to plug in. So it's going to be a lot of plug and play at first as you, as you kind of get the process. But basically what I want you to do is set up ads for now. And then uh, once a week, I like to get a report of what's going on. Okay. So what I'll be looking for, let's look at this. Let's say this was running all week. Okay. We'll just, we'll set it seven days. So today, typically I do it on Friday. So if I click up here, last seven days, and I can see the result was one lead or one conversion. I spent 17 bucks, which is good or bad. It just depends. Um, now, have you ever done this? where you can adjust what data it's showing you in the reports? No. Okay. So you can customize it. If we want to customize it, we could select wherever the heck we want it to show us. And this can be, a lot of this data is not really relevant or useful. Um, the best report for what I do is performance and clicks. So things I'm looking for, just initially at least, if it's a campaign I just started, once again, click-through rate, how many, the percentage of viewers that actually clicked on it, um, the cost per click, and the number of total clicks. Because I could say, you know, shit, uh, $17.82 a lead's expensive, but if I only had three clicks and one of them opted in, does that tell me the ad was a problem or that the page was a problem? It tells me the the ad was a problem because the people every three one out of three people that went to the page liked what they saw so we yeah. just need, we just need to make a better ad mm -hmm. right so that's how i want you to basically interpret this data okay. so we can decide what we do going into the next week cool simple not and i'll walk i'll work with you on this and train you up on it um but what are your initial thoughts and, and questions you have? Um, I mean, it seems doable. I guess my questions are, what are the issues that you currently have right now? Like, do you have any problems with your ads or your, your page or anything like that? I would like, say... Are you happy with the, the clicks uh, or the CPC you get now? Oddly enough, dude, the, the accounts I'm running peep for people, I feel like I get better results than I do for myself. So. There may have been something that changed with Facebook advertising because it's like a constantly evolving platform that I'm just behind on and I'm not aware of. Um, so I, I just kind of keeping up with it because it changes every couple months, like how to keep your costs down, what type of ads are most responsive, like uh, you know what what isn't isn't working. So if if you could.
kind of work with me on keeping up with that. So, because I'm right now, I'm wasting energy by having to go in, track the results, you know, and and I already hate designing pages already. Like I, but I could write really good copy that speaks to the audience. That's my strength. Okay. Okay. So I'll I'll work with you on this. Um, I need you to to do some of the initial kind of I don't want to say bullshit work, but you know, plugging in. Like the stuff I showed you, like right now, like how long did that take us? Twenty minutes to put an ad. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, obviously you'll get faster at it, but like th having to stop my day and do that like three or four times, and then you, as you know, like sometimes the ads will get disapproved, and you don't know if it gets approved for twenty four hours. The rules are so random with that. Like if you have like random text in your ads, it just doesn't work. Or if you have this in your ad, it doesn't work. You know. Yep. So that's the type of shit that I don't enjoy spending my time doing. Yeah. Okay. So let me think what I need to get for you. I'll put a list. One second here. All right. All right, I need to get you uh, the courses for Digital Marketer, and I have uh, another Facebook Ads one. Um, what else? Access to ads account. All right, um, load. Training video. All right, and maybe website access. Okay. All right, so I'm going to send you links to the digital marketer course, access to all the ad accounts, or at least mine to start. Um, I'm going to upload this video and send it to you and then give you access to my website. All right, cool. Anything else you think you'll need? Um, I mean, I'm sure I'll figure it out if I don't have something I need. So. Okay. Uh, plan for one to two hours tops per day. I want to start small and see, see what we could do. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so a day at max. Um, yeah. I, if I were you, I'd probably start by uh, checking it. Hold on one sec. Gonna call. Sorry about that. If I were you, I'd probably just check it every other day when we okay. first start a campaign. Because um, if you check it every day, since we're just doing five, ten bucks a day for local, it's not gonna really show us much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So let's see how we go, man. And um, yes, yeah, so take some of your free time to to dig into these courses. You're gonna learn a lot from them. So these guys are. The ones making millions and teaching people how to do it too. So, cool. All right, man. Uh, I'm assuming you need my email and stuff too. Yes, send me your uh, email. I'll just text it to you. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, sounds good. All right, dude. Have a good one. All right, you too.